So I have come across a very interesting device. And this is a portable water heater. You just stick it into water, plug it into mains and it will basically heat the water up and boil it. But this is anything but an ordinary water heater because you would expect some heating element in it with some isolation but that's basically not the case. This one is so-called electrode water heater and it really means electrode. This device heats the water up by passing an electric current through it. And you probably don't believe me but I will show you that really no matter how crazy it seems this device heats the water up by passing the mains voltage through the water. There are just two pins in the plug, the cable and two metal strips connected directly to the mains and you are supposed to stick this into water. It may seem ab absolutely crazy but in China this is really possible. And there's the manual. I can't understand anything in it because it's all in Chinese. I can read only the numbers. 100 degrees Celsius. This means the water boiling temperature. There is the power. 220 volts, 50 hertz and 500 watts. There is something about the water composition, some concentration of minerals in it. And there is some percentage and I think this is the likelihood of a deadly accident while using it. There is a picture that explains everything. Just stick it into water, plug it into mains and that's it. And I strongly recommend you never even think about buying this one because this is a really deadly dangerous device that can possibly kill you. So don't even think about buying this one. I have this one from eBay for about less than three dollars including shipping. So I will try this device out so you don't have to. Unboxing it. And that's it. There's the plug, cable. And the electrode. Let's do the check. And if anybody doesn't believe me, it's just directly connected to the pins. Let's see. It's one. And that's the other one. Okay, let's try this out. It has a Chinese plug, so I will use an adapter to convert it to European. And you just basically stick it into water and plug it in. And definitely don't try this at home. And I can hear a hum. And water heats up. It's getting hot quite quickly. It's really powerful and it says 500 watts. But I think it's much more power in it. The water is almost boiling now. It's splashing around. Oh my god, it's a really crazy device. The water is very hot now and steaming. Now it's steaming my camera. And I can smell something metallic. That's crazy. A crazy Chinese water heater. Let's see how much current does it pass through the water. 
Oh crap, more than 10 amps. Almost 11 amps at 270 volts. That's crazy. But this explains why it was boiling so quickly. So this is definitely much more than the 500 watts it advertises. That's crazy, oh my god, it's growing. Heading for 12 amps. Okay, let's check it with my power meter. 2.8, 2.9 kilowatts. That's crazy. So this one says 500 watts, but the actual power is almost 3 kilowatts. And last year I've got another version of it, which is smaller, and it says 300 watts. But the actual power is about 1 kilowatt. And if you ask, does it really make the water live? Of course it does. I'll put a multimeter into it and into the water. And there's about 116 volts. This is about half of the mains voltage, because the water basically works as a resistive divider. The current. 0.8 amps. A light bulb test. This is a 60 watt light bulb. It lights up. The water is real life. I have just switched to the smaller one and let's try a LED light bulb. It lights up. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, now it's full of water. Okay, what about an LED? It lights up. And now the question is, what happens if you stick your finger into it? And it actually depends on whether you are grounded or not. If you are not grounded, nothing should happen unless you put your finger close to the electrodes. If you are grounded, you get an electric shock and possibly die. So definitely never try this at home. So I'm sticking my finger into it. And I still feel nothing, nothing, I'm getting closer to the electrode. And now I feel a shimmer. Now I feel a current passing through my finger. More and more, what? That's very unpleasant. When you put your finger close to the electrode, you can feel the current flowing through your skin. So definitely never do this, this is extremely dangerous and if I was grounded I could have been dead already. So never do this, I am trying to do this so that you don't have to. And this device has no power limiting. So the power depends only on the resistance of the water. So let's try what happens when we add salt into the water to decrease its resistance. Okay, so let's keep adding salt into the water until whatever happens. There's a light bulb to indicate if the circuit breaker will trip. So let's start. It runs. And now the salt. The power seems to go up. Let's add more. It's humming very loudly, even more. The floor in this room is vibrating now. It's humming very loud. Let's stir it a little bit. The whole floor is vibrating, the cable is getting soft and hot. Even more salt. It's flashing. It's violently flashing now. Even more salt. This is going to end up really horribly. Even more salt. Everything's vibrating. The whole room is vibrating now. The glass is jumping. Water is splashing everywhere. 
even more south. Now it's absolutely crazy. Water is everywhere, steam is everywhere. The roof is smelly as hell. The cable is almost melting. The breaker still doesn't trip. More water into it. I can't believe I do this. I have no idea what power does it draw now. The cable is almost melting now. The breaker still doesn't trip. The water is completely brown now. Everything is just floating here. It's a horrible idea. Okay, let's start the experiment. That's horrible. Water is everywhere. All the equipment is floating in water. Oh my god, I can't believe I have just done this. Let's take a look at the water. That's just disgusting. Oh my god, it's crazy. The breaker didn't trip. Now let's try the more powerful one. In a splash container. Yeah, the breaker just tripped. Please never try to replicate this experiment. I'm really happy I'm still alive so that I can see you in my next videos. This is Diode Gone Wild.